Hey, it's Joe again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about endotracheal intubation. Some indications of doing an endotracheal intubation are if your patient is unable to protect their own airway, if their GCS is less than 8, or if their respiration is less than 8, and also if they are apneic. Step one is we're going to assess the level of consciousness of our patient. We're going to go through our AVPU acronym and establish his level of consciousness. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Stone rub. No response. Now we're going to move to a head tilt chin lift and check the airway. My airway is clear. I have no breath on my cheek, so now I'm going to provide mechanical respirations with the BVM. If you have another first responder, you can have them pre-oxygenate for two minutes while you prep your equipment. Check your laryngoscope. Make sure the light is bright and your handle's tight. Also, if you have suction, make sure you have it on standby in the event you need to perform any type of suctioning. Insert 10 cc's of air and make sure there are no leaks in your cuff. In the event you do not successfully intubate, have your first responder re pre oxygenate for another two minutes. Place the blade at the corner of the mouth in a sweeping motion, insert and sweep the tongue and elevate. Lift up against the vallecula and visualize the vocal cords. Once you visualize the cords, insert the tube between the vocal cords. As you visualize the two passive vocal cords, simultaneously remove your laryngoscope and inflate the bulb with 10 cc's of air. Remove the 10 cc syringe and apply your EDD to confirm placement. After placement has been confirmed, have your helper attach the BVM to the end of the ET tube and continue to oxygenate your patient. Auscultate over the epigastric, bag, negative epigastric. The left lung field, bag, positive left. And the right lung field, bag, positive right. After you've confirmed placement, make sure you secure your ET tube in place. Remember, there are multiple ways of securing the ET tube, but no matter which one you use, make sure you're proficient in securing it. After you secure your tube in place, reassess your patient and if you have waveform capnography, apply it to confirm placement and monitor your patient's entitled CO2. Also, monitor your SpO2. During tube placement confirmation, if you have no breath sounds on the left side but positive on the right, simply deflate the cuff, back up the ET tube, and reinflate. Then reauscultate to ensure that you have positive breath sounds on the left side. Make sure you always reassess your patient, monitor their SpO2, and their waveform capnography and document all care on a DD form 1380.